Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stamp and Jill creative team, and today I'm excited to share with you a stamp set and dies from the annual catalog. The stamp set that I chose is the Prized Peony stamp set, and there, this is a little funny. When we first went through the catalog and we saw this suite, we loved it, obviously. It's so pretty. The paper's gorgeous, the accessories are gorgeous, and the stamp set is so gorgeous. But in my mind, I was kind of like, it's just, it's another flower set. You know, we have a lot of those. We'll wait on it. We're not going to order it right away. So we didn't. We ordered other things and played with other things and had so much fun. But then samples started cropping up of the peony dies and stamp set. And I realized I really do love that set. <laughs> and so I had to order it. So we ordered it and I've been playing with it. And it is so gorgeous and it's so fun. So it's one of those that... Even if you don't think you need it, you probably do. So this is what it looks like. Surprise peony set. And it has 17 dies that go with it. Now the, these dies are kind of cool. It, it, it kind of has two different sets to the dies. So I wanted to show you here. I made this um, sheet that kind of shows all the different cutouts. I feel like it has two different directions that these dies kind of go. The first one, these ones down here, these coordinate with the stamp set. So they'll cut out this flower and this flower and this flower. And then it has the leaves and it has this really pretty border. And then these ones up here, they kind of are a different type of dies. They build a peony flower and it is so gorgeous. So I want to kind of focus on these um, dies, this part of the dies, um, to build that flower and show you some tips that I came up with in learning how to do it. Because when I first got this and opened it, there were all these pieces and I'm like, how on earth does this make a flower? There's, it just confused me. And there isn't real like instructions in the actual die. So I wanted to just, give you a little bit of that so when you decide to get this because it's so beautiful it'll make your experience a little bit easier too. So let me just show you um, when you cut it out you're going to cut out four pieces of flower right here and then you have your little um, like middle of the flower and then these are three different leaves that um, go with the peony flower. So I want to show you how to put this peony together and kind of give you some tips on it. So I've already cut them all out here. I used for the for the leaves I used um, old olive and mossy meadow there. Um, and then for the flower I used magenta madness. So um, just that really pretty vibrant pink and then the middle I used black. So I'm gonna start with my um, my biggest piece here. This is the the one that I labeled on my sheet as number one. And then I'm going to grab number two, which is the second biggest, and I'm going to fit those two together. And you'll notice that they do fit and match up here. So you know exactly where to line it up. You can see on the back, you just put it right through the little slit there and then it lines up on the back. And that's how you know it's in the right place. They just kind of match up together, okay? And then you take the next biggest piece here and you put it through the slit on the second biggest, okay? And again, it lines up perfectly on the back down here, on the bottom of the flower, just like that. Okay, and then the last piece goes through the last slit. I promise I can get it in. Okay, and then same thing. They all just match up on the back, the bottom of the back of the flower. Okay, so you have your flower all built and it actually goes together super easy and look how beautiful that is. Just kind of bend the petals a little bit, make it look a little more realistic and then you can stick your little center into that slit like that. Okay, 
so simple. And then you just put it all together, use adhesive and put it together. So with the leaves, you have six different pieces, three different size of leaves. Now these go on top. So you have your three pieces and then these kind of give a little shaded look. Do you see how it just, they fit right on top of there? Just like that. And then you just adhere them down. I like to use the green glue because it's kind of a smaller space to adhere and the green glue works really well. So there you have it. Really, really simple to put together. It seems a little daunting when you first get it, but it actually is a lot more simple um, than you would think. So I'm gonna just pull my um, my page here in again. So you see you have biggest to smallest, one, two, three, four, and five. So you just fit them in um, into each other just like that. And then for your leaves, they just go, the little accent part just goes right on top of the, the thick leaf part. So I wanted to show you a few samples that I have made, um, come up with using this stamp set and dies. Oh, I've just had so much fun with it. So I hope that you like them. This first one I want to show you, I actually got the idea. I was on Pinterest and I found this card. It's a little bit different than the original, but the idea that I got it from was Karen Henderson at Furry Cat Designs. So you'll have to go and look up her page. Um, you can find it on Pinterest too, but, and in, and then just link over from there. But I thought her card was just gorgeous. So she took the peony flower and she crumpled it all up. And I did that by, I got the paper wet and then I crumpled it cause then it gives, it kind of breaks up the fibers of the paper better. And then, and then I cut it out and put it together and then I colored it with the Wink Estella to give it just that shimmer um, on the flower. And it, oh, it turned out so beautifully. And then you can see how she, if you go to her blog post, you can see how she did the back of her um, card too. So much fun, so beautiful. Um, next I did this one. I did, I just cut it out with the Whisper White and then sponged um, Petal Pink onto it. So pretty. And then for the leaves, I did those in Whisper White too. And then I just sponged Shaded Spruce. So that's all in Whisper White with just sponging. This one, I used kind of the stamp set on the back here and got the background. And then I cut the peony out of the um, designer series paper. So kind of gave it a different look, really pretty. This one, this, I just used the stamp set and then I, I cut it out with the dies, but I didn't build up the flower. Um, I did this fun rectangle design so you can make a really fun background that way. And then this one again, I just used the dies to cut out the pretty flowers and the leaves. So much fun. I have had so much fun playing with this stamp set. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you comment below. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you on another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.